It seems like everybody has a battery today. I just got back from RE Plus 2024 where I saw literally dozens of new battery products. Now most of these are copycat Me Too batteries that are never going to gain any real market share here in the US. How did we get here? And which battery products are really worth considering? I'm going to be answering those questions in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're going to be talking about why there are so many new batteries on the US market. Now, this really comes back to the loss of net metering. Now, for many years here in the United States, we've been spoiled with a one-for-one -one net metering policy. Now, when we talk about a one-for-one -one net metering policy, what we mean is if you have solar panels installed on your home, when the solar panels are producing energy during daylight hours, whatever energy you don't need immediately to power the house could just be sold back to the power company. They used to give you a full one-for-one -one price credit and then during the evening hours, you could just pull that energy back in using the credits that you built up during daylight hours. So in other words, you as a homeowner never had to worry about storing your own electricity in a battery. You could just dump what you need to the grid during the daytime and then pull it back in at nighttime effectively for free using the power company as your battery. But what a number of the utilities here in the States are doing now, especially led by California and this new so-called net metering 3.0, is they're no longer giving you a full one-for-one -one buyback. Uh, and frankly, they shouldn't. Uh, in, in, a, in a true free market situation, the power company should not have to buy electricity from you at the same rate they sell it to you. They're in the business of buying cheap wholesale from, from power plants and then marking it up and selling it to you as a retail customer. That's how they make their profit. That's how they make their margin. So in a free market system, which is kind of what we're more moving towards now, they're paying you more of a wholesale rate for electricity you send them. So in this case, in California, you may have to send the power company four kilowatt hours of excess solar during the daytime for every one that you get to pull back. And so that really kills the return on investment for a homeowner unless you install your own battery storage. That way you don't have to worry about buying and selling back and forth with the power company. Whatever extra solar you collect during daylight hours, you just charge it into a battery. And then during evening when the solar panels aren't producing, you just draw the energy that you need from the battery to keep the power on in the home. So you basically just use the power company as a last resort option only. And so now it seems like all the international battery manufacturers know that the word is out there's now going to be huge demand for residential energy storage here in the US, and they all want a piece of the market. Now, this is nothing new for Europe. Europe is about a decade ahead of us in terms of solar adoption and solar technology anyway. Uh, and the reason is because they haven't really had these one-for-one -one solar buyback programs for a long time. And on top of that, they pay a much higher rate per unit of electricity. It's not uncommon for somebody in, let's say, Germany to pay two or three times the price per kilowatt hour as someone might pay where I am here on the East Coast of the United States. So very simply guys, we Americans have been spoiled for a long time with cheap electricity. Now that electric rates are starting to rise and now that the one for one net metering programs are going away, now the demand for batteries is, is here. And, and frankly, it's really a mainstream thing now here in the United States. You know, when I got started in solar about 12 years ago, batteries were a very small part of the equation. And frankly, the battery technology we had to work with was very dangerous and very cumbersome. Now we're seeing a lot of modern battery systems like the Tesla Powerwall 3 and similar systems in that category where these are very well-designed, sleek-looking modern appliances that offer high power output. By the way, if you're watching this from Europe and you have a solar and battery system, go ahead and post a comment down below. Tell us about your setup. We'd like to hear from you. Okay, so there's a lot of noise out here in the marketplace, but which are the batteries that are really worth considering? Well, the first thing you wanna look at is power and capacity. Is the battery going to do what you need it to do in terms of instantaneous power to make sure that you can power all the loads that you need to in the house, as well as enough energy storage capacity to carry you through the evening or for however long you would like to have a battery reserve. Those of you who are looking at batteries for emergency backup purposes, you may wanna have more storage than what you would use in just a typical day. Some of you may want two or three days worth of storage capacity to carry you through a prolonged power outage. Now, the other thing you wanna look at is what are the other features that are available on the platform? Now, those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that solar and batteries are evolving into more of these whole home energy management systems, which could include other items like 
electric vehicle charger, including bi-directional electric vehicle charging. Uh, could include intelligent load control, could include intelligent control for your HVAC and your water heater, uh, and you, it could include a fuel burning generator as well, all tied in to the same platform. So when you're talking about platform, I'm thinking Enphase, Solar Edge, Point Guard, Tesla Powerwall. Uh, a number of these platforms now offer more than just solar and battery storage. And then the third thing you want to look at, especially for you solar installers out there, is what is the post installation support? And this is the thing I think a lot of manufacturers get wrong. They think if they just show up to the US, they show up to the trade show with a new battery, that that in and of itself is gonna be enough to drive demand from installers. But what installers really care about is not just does the battery meet my customer's needs and is it affordable, but also what is gonna be the post installation support to make sure that the manufacturer is helping the installer to keep that system online and healthy for the next 25 years. And this is why I say all the time, guys, solar is not one of those things that you wanna just go shopping on cheapest price. You know, it doesn't, doesn't take a lot of work to, to go find a cheap price or a contractor that can bid you a cheap price. But the question you really wanna ask is, who's the best long-term partner for me over the next 25 years? And that's true if, if, if talking to homeowners, that's, the, that's what you need to ask yourself when choosing a contractor. But also contractors out there, when you're choosing a manufacturer to partner with, you also need to ask yourself, which company is really going to stand behind their product, is really gonna give me the support that I need so that my end user customers, I'm, I can make sure that I'm honoring my guarantee to keep that system healthy for the next 20 or 25 years. And this is where I think a lot of the international manufacturers miss it. They think of after install support as kind of an afterthought when really that's what you have to get the contractor to do. You have, you have to get the contractor confident enough that they're willing to bet their business reputation on you. And this is where I think companies like Enphase and Generac have done really, really well in building that tight relationship with their installers. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC-coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Now, if you'd like to see our top picks for solar and all-in-one solar battery inverter systems for 2024, uh, make sure you go back and watch the previous video, if you haven't seen it already, where I give you my top five for this year and explain why I've chosen these and why I think these are really the battery systems that you should focus on and take seriously if you're in the market for a solar and storage system for your home this year. By the way, guys, I wanna let you know we're working on something here at Solar Surge that will allow you to design and build and purchase your solar and battery storage system 100% online without having to deal with a salesperson unless you want to. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel. We'll have more information coming out about that very, very soon. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for solar and storage, or maybe you already have a price quote, you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the right equipment or getting the best deal, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Uh, of course, folks, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on solar surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. Well, I thank you all for taking some more time to spend on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.